There's a famous quote by Justice Blackman. It says that great nations, like great men, should honor their word. And so we're here today to call upon the United States to be a great nation and to honor its word to the first Americans of this country. The federal government has not lived up to its obligations to meet with us and to consult with us. So what we're doing today is to make our voices known in the best way that we can and to share our story with America and to ask others throughout the country to join us in opposing the Keystone XL pipeline. Any decision that's going to impact tribal lands or tribal peoples needs to have the free and prior informed consent of our people before something can move forward. On a large issue like the routing of the Keystone XL pipeline, we need to be talking to decision makers. In many respects, we've been uh, forced into a corner because of the lack of meaningful consultation into uh, taking a little bit more extreme measures like simple disobedience just to ensure that our voices are heard. We have literally the poorest people in the United States fighting against Canada's largest energy company. And we're standing up to them and we're not going to back down for nothing.